So this particular question states that in first row high spin transition metal complexes of the form MH2O whole 6 Cl2 with D5 and D7 metal ions, the DD transitions are and these are the four given options. So how will we go about solving this question? Well, uh, this question will be solved by the Laporte's rule. Now the, what do the Laporte's rule states is that uh, for DD transitions, the delta S should be equal to 0 then it's Laporte allowed so if delta is equal to 0 then Laporte allowed and if delta s is not equal to 0, zero then it's Laporte forbidden so the DD transitions uh, of uh, high spin transition metals of D5 and D7 uh, configurations now if we draw high spin D5 so uh, it will for D5 it will look some like something like this right uh, this is for D5 and I'll draw uh, over here for D7 now this is for D7 and this is for like I stated D5 now Delta S should be equal to 0 if it's Laporte allowed. Now if we see for D5 configuration, if we uh, provide some energy, uh, if the D transitions take indeed take place in this, what will happen is that when once this electron is excited, so if it goes, one, say one of the electron goes to the upper EG uh, state, so this is T2G, this is EG, and if it goes to the EG, you see, so if we, if we calculate the total spin in, uh, spin in D5, this was half plus half plus half, that's 3 by 2, plus half 2, plus again and half. So that's 5 by 2. So the total spin over here was 5 by 2. But if we if we calculate over here, it's half plus half 1, uh, plus 1, 2, and minus 1. So 3 by 2. So there's a spin change. So here the spin was uh, 5 by 2, and here it was 3 by 2. Now, if we calculate for D7, say one of the electrons gets excited and then uh, moves to the EG state so now we have something like this now if we calculate the total spin over here it's half plus half 1 plus half 3 by 2 plus uh, half 4 or uh, 2 plus half 5 by 2 minus of 1 so this will be 3 by 2 right the total spin if we calculate the total spin over here again half plus half 1 plus half 3 by 2 uh, 2 5 by 2 5 by 2 minus 1 so here also 3 by 2 so if you see the spin change over here is equal to <coughs> 1 while the spin change over here is equal to 0 so you can say for high spin transition metals the D7 configuration uh, is Laporte allowed whereas the D5 configuration is Laporte forbidden for DD transitions so According to the question, so spin forbidden for D5 and spin allowed for D7. So the correct answer is C. Now, <coughs> you can actually also calculate it for low spin uh, uh, transition complexes. There is nothing complicated about it. You just need to draw the uh, T2G and EG levels and see whether there is a spin change taking place or not. Right?